My name is Chris Lamberts, and I host a podcast called Watching the Throne, a lyrical analysis of Kanye West. We also have a YouTube channel where we do Kanye West news and updates. <laughs> R slash West Sub Ever was the phoenix rising from the ashes of Yandy Leaks. Uh, after Yandy Leaks started gaining more popularity, but also starting to have uh, some issues with its branding. <laughs> Uh, the word leak being one of the uh, examples of that. What's Up Ever was the pivot to we're going to be a yay themed subreddit, but not as explicitly about leaking, leak culture, but we want to talk about yay and yay information. So it was kind of a, a rebrand to try to get everybody to still be in line with information breaking, discussing new music, discussing leaks, but not necessarily emphasize the idea that it's about leaks. And it's been incredibly successful. Uh, I think it's more popular at this point than Yandy Leaks ever was. It's lasted longer, I think, at this point than Yandy Leaks had, and has become one of the go-to places online for Kanye fandom. My favorite moments from WSE, uh, one was just meeting so many people at the first Donda listening party and that photo that we took, the group photo kind of becoming a meme that went beyond the sub. It was being posted in other subreddits as kind of like your average Reddit meetup kind of thing. But so many of the people from the sub, just seeing them in the lobby of the Reverb Hotel, just happily talking to each other, excitedly exchanging usernames with each other. That was a really special moment to see the, the kind of bond that exists on West Sub Ever transcend to reality. I think it's one thing to be all about something online. It's another thing to show up, be there, and then be kind to each other, connect with each other. And there were so many different types of people there too that we saw they were all on West Sub Ever who were all in this lobby or at the stadium. And you could see them at times, like there'd be times at the stadium, one person would be talking to us and somebody else would come up and we'd, three of us would kind of be talking. They'd mention something about West Sub Ever and the other person would be like, yeah, wait, who are you? And they'd like exchange like usernames. Uh, it still stood out to me the most was Chicken Man, just because it's such a, a memorable name and getting to see him across a couple uh, listening parties was really funny. Um, but it's just like the first time I met him, he's just like, I'm Chicken Man. And then by Donda 2, it was just like, the Chicken Man is here kind of energy. <laughs> uh, which was just like great. And you know, the first time when I saw him, I think he's a good example of the whole. The first time he was just a, a random person in the lobby, right? That's, kind of introduced himself, shyly introduced himself to a couple other people. They start to connect over West Sub Ever, over Kanye, and then finally they're talking, laughing, and hanging out. When I saw him again at Donda 2's listening party, just in a large group, there's like seven of them already like hanging out, talking. It just kind of became this thing where it wasn't weird. <laughs> like it's still like weird in a way whenever you transcend digital to reality but i just loved the fact that the community is like yeah we are a community and meeting in whether it's online whether it's in public we can connect over this thing treat each other well and like enjoy a moment together